Um, I know that uh, a lot of you here are um, already experienced with plenty of projects behind you, but we will nevertheless get over the basics of eTwinning, discuss some opportunities on eTwinning which you can use, and um, definitely reflect on the added value of eTwinning on your practice, on your professional development, and uh, on your schools as well. Um, about the basics, eTwinning was launched in 2005 uh, as an initiative by the European Commission, exactly under the Erasmus Plus program that we mentioned, and it operates uh, on um, a European level mainly, but there are eTwinning Plus countries which are also included. On uh, the European level, uh, the central support service uh, is in charge of the coordination, while on a national level, there are national support services and partner support agencies, or PSAs. So you already know this by now. Um, here is a little slide showing eTwinning in numbers. Since 2005, we can say that eTwinning has progressed a lot and uh, developed uh, in not, only, um, not only as a platform that offers you opportunities to use it as an ICT tool in your practice, but also as a major support for education systems all over Europe. So it's been around for 14 years, now it's available in 31 languages um, and 44 countries. And um, on a larger scale numbers, you can see that there are almost 100,000 projects and almost 200,000 schools active on eTwinning with uh, over 700,000 uh, registered users, school staff, which is an amazing number. Um, following by the numbers from Serbia, much smaller numbers, but we are very proud of them because uh, today we can say that we have almost uh, 4,000, a little bit over 4,000 teachers who are registered, 2,807 projects active and closed, and uh, over 1,000 schools. We are, very, we are very proud of our eTwinning community. As Jelena mentioned uh, at the beginning of the day, um, the eTwinning community is the most enthusiastic in, I can say, all school education field. And um, we really love to cooperate with our ambassadors, with our teachers who are active on eTwinning because uh, this enthusiasm is uh, infectious and it gets, um, gets transferred easily. For those of you who are maybe new on eTwinning, um, I will just uh, give the basic overview of the parts. So there are three levels, so to speak, uh, of eTwinning, depending on how much you want to engage. So there is the public portal. Even if you're not registered, this is a good advice that you can give to your colleagues who are not yet sure if they want to sign up or register. Uh, there is the public space, public portal, which will give you the basic information about eTwinning, about the action, about ways how they can register and what they can gain from it. Then when you register, you know that you get this space, eTwinning Live, which is uh, like uh, opening a social networks dimension of eTwinning, where you can connect with colleagues, join different groups, start projects, uh, see which events are upcoming, and all the opportunities for professional development. Once you decide to start a project, you get to the third level, which is opening a twin space, a space where you can start working on an actual project and get access to all the tools that can help you improve your teaching practice, your lessons, that can help you motivate your students and engage them, students, pupils, whoever you work with. Uh, what I would like to emphasize um, here is uh, the opportunities that you get for professional development. Um, sure, you have used uh, eTwinning, it's enough to use it for a project or for integrating it into your teaching, but uh, there is much more to explore and to use through professional development opportunities. You get a tab, professional development, on your eTwinning Live space, and you can enroll on online seminars, which are short lectures where uh, lecturers choose a certain topic, and you can 
choose a topic of your interest and attend this lecture, maybe discuss with other participants with the lecture, ask questions, maybe discuss some new ideas. Then there are learning events which can last a couple of days or several days and give you a broader knowledge of a certain topic. Uh, also online courses which are a little bit more extensive and they focus more on uh, some eat winning skills so to speak like online moderation or maybe um, some advertising or promotion or maybe some special courses for ambassadors and finally um, face to face events uh, which uh, are organized by the CSS and by the NSSs such as this event. So um, you can be on the lookout or contact your NSSs for the opportunities that there are in your country. Usually these are seminars like these or annual conferences or thematic conferences. So plenty of opportunities to learn more and they always cover a certain topic uh, around eat winning, uh, but a specific topic um, which can help you in your teaching practice. So if this doesn't convince you to, <laughs> to stay on eat winning and to use it even more, here is this slide that uh, shows you briefly the added value of eat winning. On the first place, there is definitely collaborative approach and uh, the fact that it offers you a space for collaboration um, with your colleagues across Europe, uh, across Europe and wider. So this is something that is very valuable because uh, you have it in your classrooms, at your home, wherever you have a device that you can access eat winning, you can use it to contact your colleague, colleagues and communicate with them. Um, definitely what goes without saying is that if you use eTwinning you will use ICT tools in teaching but not only the very platform but you can also integrate web 2.0 tools which are fantastic and they are uh, being created by the day new tools which are amazing for, uh, for teaching and most of them are simple to use. Um, also live meetings, uh, anything that uh, comes to your mind that you think you could integrate into twin space. Uh, what definitely is a good thing uh, for you and uh, we cannot emphasize this in enough is that you have the opportunity to get your work recognized on eTwinning through various labels like national quality label, European quality label, eTwinning awards and uh, since recently uh, also there is this tool available uh, called eTwinning portfolio where you can actually uh, create um, sort of a CV and all of your achievements can be listed in one place. Um, definitely what we heard uh, previously from Anna, from uh, Alice and uh, Mary is that project-based teaching is made easier through it winning and guaranteed through it winning. So um, like Anna said, it's uh, becoming mainstream such as inquiry-based teaching which is very related to project-based teaching. It is becoming mainstream and if you don't know how to do it, just use it winning. That's it. You have it covered. Um, it also gives the space to, um, to achieve this correlation between subjects because uh, when you have a project, it is rarely revolving around only one subject. It's possible, but very rare. So you usually include many different subjects, you cooperate with your colleagues, and this is how you help your students develop key competences, such as 21st century skills which are in demand, like creativity, collaboration, creative thinking, critical thinking. So um, this is um, maybe a little too much when you say it, but uh, the best thing is that you don't notice that you are developing all these things. This is why we uh, consider it important to uh, list them like this and to give you this overview. Also, uh, one benefit is to, that you get to engage your students and pupils actively. You can give them uh, a role on TwinSpace and they can uh, maybe upload some, some of their works, maybe do some homework or um, include them in whatever extent you think it's applicable depending on the age group or your uh, conditions at the moment. 
So um, this is um, something that we uh, think is essential for e-twinning and that we should definitely emphasize this every time. So it's not just uh, making your teaching fun and interesting for your students, you achieve a lot more with this. Um, we have also prepared several slides which rely on uh, the report done by the CSS in 2019. It's uh, a regular report uh, the CSS does, monitoring of practices, and they, uh, through questionnaires, they uh, gather some data uh, from each winners, and we have um, uh, prepared some of the uh, of the parts of this report, so um, the range of subjects taught on e-twinning, according to this re uh, re uh, report, is very big. There are 37 subjects, but uh, foreign languages naturally are way ahead. Uh, so I think that uh, in almost any e-twinning project or topic, uh, foreign languages can be integrated, and this is the benefit of it. Uh, then it is followed by primary school subjects, language and literature, and ICT on the fourth place. But uh, as we heard before, ICT is mm, the tool most of the time. So I think that it goes without saying that they will use or integrate ICT. Uh, this is um, interesting to see uh, how e-twinning uh, has impacted the teacher's skills as reported by the e-twinners. So this is what you and other colleagues think. So definitely project-based teaching skills and cross-curricular skills are on the top. Technological skills for teaching, ability to assess cross-curricular skills, which is for me very interesting because the assessment is a big topic when you're talking about project-based teaching or using some innovative methods. So it's uh, very good to see this high percentage of people thinking that e-twinning has helped them here. Uh, collaborative skills in working with teachers of other subjects, like we said, collaboration is essential, and uh, ability to choose the right teaching strategy in any given situation. So it gives you a variety of um, strategies and also a space to use them and apply them as you see fit. Um, furthermore, we have impact on teaching practice. Uh, this is also interesting. These are five, um, five areas uh, which were reported to have the most impact. Actually, e-twinning has most impact on them. So it's um, teaching the understanding of themes that cut across disciplines. Um, teaching uh, students uh, with competence-based approach, and not only that, but also uh, increasing the learning acquisition and retention, most importantly. Um, also teaching uh, learning how to learn. So uh, this is where we get to the key competences. Learning to learn is one of the key competences as um, as adopted on European level, so this is also very important that you are achieving many of the key competences through e-twinning. Um, also facilitating discussions with the whole class with most time dedicated to students talking, so students are actively engaged. And um, giving different work to the students who have difficulties uh, and or those who can advance faster. I think this is very important because um, this, is, this shows you that e-twinning gives you the opportunity to uh, apply this individualized approach and to be flexible in your teaching so you can adapt your teaching with the help of e-twinning to each uh, student, pupil and their individual needs. Uh, this is how e-twinning was seen to have impact on students' learning. So um, the biggest impact is in the group work where they work on a joint topic uh, within a project to find a solution. But it's also important to mention that uh, students uh, can assess their own work and the work of others. This is uh, very important to underline and uh, also the fact that they 
uh, work individually at their own pace. Uh, for me, uh, I think that uh, the I think that it's last or one of the last two students choose what and how they will learn and take responsibility for their learning is very important because you give them ownership of the project and the product as we have seen, and they feel proud and they get this reward, which is. I must say not the case with traditional teaching, so e-twinning is very valuable here, and they can also collect their, uh, their work and their achievements through portfolios, and it's some, somewhere, it's recorded somewhere, and they can access it, and you can remind them what they have done, you can remind them of their achievement. And finally, impact on school activities, so, um, E-Twinning uh, has recently introduced the uh, E-Twinning school label. You're probably aware of that. And uh, this is some uh, report of how it has impacted the work of schools. Uh, it's um, mostly seen to improve relations between teachers and students, between uh, collaboration between teachers themselves, and also building a sense of European citizenship uh, within the schools, uh, building a sense of inclusion within the schools, very important, and uh, attracting the interests of other colleagues in eTwinning and also the parents. Um, what is what else? Improving the willing, willingness uh, for school staff to start further innovation projects. So it kind of catches on. Once they do one project, or you know it with your colleagues, once you show them, they cannot wait to do something else. And finally, um, when we talk about added value of eTwinning, we have to mention the link between eTwinning and Erasmus+. Plus. Jelena has mentioned all of the opportunities of Erasmus Plus program and how eTwinning can help you find partners. I will just add that um, you can always use partner forums which have specifically dedicated groups for searching partners and for uh, advertising your projects or maybe requesting partners. So uh, we don't want to keep you waiting for your deserved break and for your deserved dinner. Uh, and I will repeat that for any further questions on any topic, you can contact us later or during these three days. So thank you very much for your attention.